Alright fellas, <clears throat> bad eye or not, since I've shot my mom, but with these uh, old school uh, medieval arrows, I've been wanting to bring some new school to the old school, or some old school to the new school, however you want to look at that. Um, so, since I ain't shot this bow in a little bit, and I ain't really want to trust myself at farther yardage at the moment since I can't really see that well. And the lights kind of dimming down <coughs> I moved up to 15 yards and I brought out my my Martin takedown panther or Martin panther takedown I call it my panther this is my pack bow this is probably one of my favorite bows I've ever shot um, I do have the whisker biscuit on it so I'm not a big fan of that I am going to be putting back on the plastic rest that came with it um, unless I can order me a a newer style one but I'm not a fan of the whisker biscuit but for the sake of this demonstration I am going to use it because I want to shoot <coughs> this medieval arrow full bamboo even the Nox just carved into the bamboo out of this out of this modern bow because I like the thought of the old coming back in style and meeting the new and the possibilities of it. I'm really excited to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and take these four shots and see what happens. I'll be going towards the bottom target. how well I did with that but sight is pretty important when it comes to shooting instinctually because you have to visibly visibly be able to see your target but uh got that one good right eye that kind of helped me out a little bit there but it's far from being my best shooting but yet again if I could see a little bit better I believe that these these arrows are nice. They really are. This panther is 50 pounds at 28 inches. <clears throat> I draw it back a little bit farther. My my full draw lengths I think around 30. And I'm sinking these arrows. They're 31 inches. There's maybe six inches sticking out on a couple of them. The other one maybe 13 inches. So. Penetration's very good out of this bow. Even with the whisker biscuit, that was my fear. It was going to slow down because the the knock underneath the arrow is wrapped in like an artificial sinew, which I figured would slow it down going through the bristles. But it came out pretty good. They stayed pretty true, and I'm impressed with it. I really am. And with those heads, they kind of whistle. It's with those holes drilled into them while they're flying so it sounds like a mini rocket <laughs> but yeah that's that's old school meat new school i i like it i might end up ordering me another dozen or two